Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I want to do a video about some cruelty free drugstore dry shampoos I've been trying out recently. So when I first transitioned to becoming cruelty free I was doing research on a lot of brands and previously I was using the Batiste dry shampoo which is my ride or die. I loved that dry shampoo. And on the bottle it says cruelty free and has a bunny logo on it so I thought it was cruelty free. However, once I was doing more research on the brand, it turns out they are actually not cruelty free. That bunny logo is just a random bunny, it's not the Leaping Bunny logo, so I think that tricks a lot of people into thinking it's cruelty free. Also, Batiste does test when required by law because they do sell in mainland China, and the Chinese government requires that companies test their products on animals before selling in mainland China. So therefore, Batiste is not cruelty free, contrary to popular belief because I think a lot of people think they are cruelty free. But they're not so I was extremely heartbroken when I found out they weren't cruelty free because that was my favorite dry shampoo it gave me a lot of volume it also made my hair look less greasy and I can go literally two days without washing my hair and my hair would still look really good so then I was on a quest to find a good dry shampoo so I have three to share with you guys I have one that's bad one that's eh and then one that is my favorite so anyways let's get started so I just wanted to start off with the bad one and just get that one out of the way and this is the Salon Graphic Professional Brown and Dry Shampoo. So I picked up the one that was for darker hair because as you can see I have dark hair. There is a darker hair version of a dry shampoo. I usually try to reach for that one just so that I don't have that white residue in my hair. Although you can blend it in but it's just easier to have a darker tint. So this is the first dry shampoo I tried out when I transitioned to cruelty free. And I have to say this one is not good whatsoever. It did nothing for my hair. When I first sprayed it in my hair, it felt like I was adding a lot of product to it. My hair did not feel clean, didn't absorb any oil, didn't give me any volume. It honestly did nothing for my hair at all. So I would not recommend this one. The second one I decided to try out was the Colab Sheer Invisible Dry Shampoo. This one I believe is a UK brand, so it is a little bit harder to find in the States. But I was able to find it in Aerie randomly when I was shopping for bras. They had some like bath and body products and this was one of them. So mine is in the classic fragrance and honestly this smells freaking amazing. However, it doesn't really do its job, which, I mean, you smell good, but I kind of need you to make my hair look good. So this one does have that kind of white residue, but once you just, like, judge, judge up your hair, you know, kind of blend it in and mess it around, it does go away, which is nice. And when I first sprayed it in my hair, it didn't give me a lot of volume, but it definitely made my hair feel clean, which I liked because even though I didn't have volume, you know, at least my hair looks clean, right? However, it didn't stay clean. Within an hour of spraying this in my hair, my hair felt the same as what before I sprayed this in my hair. Like it felt greasy again and it didn't look like I had sprayed any dry shampoo whatsoever. And I kind of need my hair to look clean all day. So I don't recommend this one either. Even though it smells really good, it doesn't really look good all day long. Pass it on this one as well. And so honestly I was going to give up on looking for dry shampoos. I was going to look for more expensive dry shampoos and see if those worked better. But then I decided to give one last brand a try, and this is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. And mine's the unscented version, and this claims to absorb excess oils, leave no residue, and give you some volume. Hopefully you can't hear the rain that's currently pounding on my house. This does give you that kind of white cast when you first spray it in your hair, but once you kind of blend it in with your hair, it, you don't see it at all. I used it today, and you can't even see the white residue at all. And this actually makes your hair feel clean and it absorbs all the oil and it lasts all day. So, so far this is my favorite dry shampoo I've tried out. This is also really readily available. I believe it's around 6 or $7 and you can pick it up at Ulta or drugstores. And so far this is my favorite dry shampoo. I'm so happy I found this because this is probably the most similar to the Batiste one I have tried so far. And I really like and recommend this dry shampoo. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and got some good product recommendations. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys for another video. Bye!